Hey guys, welcome back. Hey Ralph, what are we doing today, going? man? We're doing pretty good, man. What are we talking about today? Are we talking about these little, little, tiny, little micro arcades or something? No, 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 they're not that little. They're actually a little bit bigger. There's something in the middle of really little and then like sort of full size and not arcade one up. There's something kind of like in between. Oh, yeah. We're talking, we're talking about these numbskull guys, aren't we? Like these little numbskulls. Yeah, they're really cool. So these things are officially licensed by Bandai Namco. That's what's cool about them, right? They're uh -huh. full replicas. They run the original arcade ROMs, which is which is really cool in itself. And they're very, very realistic. Like everything from the artwork, the artwork's dead on. The shape of them, they're the actual shape of the original cabinet. The buttons, everything about it, the button placement, everything is exactly as pretty close to exact as you can get. So it's pretty damn cool. Everything is very made with very high quality. This isn't like a plastic piece of junk. It uses real wood. The other cool thing is because they're using the real arcade ROM, you can actually go in and manipulate the dip switches of these devices. So these are these are awesome for collectors. Collectors that maybe don't have the space for something like an arcade one up, but still want to have the fun, right? They still want to have fun. They still want to relive their childhood with these arcade games but they just don't have maybe the space. Or maybe you're just crazy like me and you collect everything and then you're going to buy it anyway. I, so. just, I just wish we had some to show off because I think these are just... We do. Re we do? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? We do. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So this one on the left is the Pac-Man. These are all numbskull, all, all, uh, all fully licensed. So you got the Pac-Man, the Miss Pac-Man, and the Galaga. But the one we're going to talk about today is actually... The Miss Pac-Man. So I'm going to take these out of the way real quick so that we're, we have a little bit more space on the table and we're going to go into the Miss Pac-Man one. Let's do this. So, man, so maybe you can you can show everybody like the size of it. You know, you got those little coin doors. You got little buttons on them. You got to you got to talk about all of this. Like you show us yeah, how so, it works. Yeah. So let's try the look at the side art first. So the side art is dead on. Like if I go downstairs, I have a full size Miss Pac-Man Galaga, and, and it's actually got the same exact artwork. So it's got, you know, the right artwork. On the back, it has all these little details, the air vents that were on the original cabinet. So that's really cool. Back down here, you've got your power button. That's how you charge it. And then you have a little volume scroll wheel right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but this is this is just a replica, right? Like, you can't actually, like, no, play no. these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Check it out. So no, I don't believe yes. you. I don't believe you. No, you can't. Of course you can play it. <laughs> no, you can't play it. It doesn't work like that. So here, there's a button on the back. I'm going to press it, and you're going to start to see Ooh. it boot up. Now, it does have a lit marquee. Now, you, can get, you know, it's going to get a little right. washed out from the, uh, from the camera there. But so oh, you'll look see at it that. booting. Yeah, it's booting the original arcade ROM. Now, if I wanted to, while it was booting, I could press player one and player two to get into the dip switches. But in order to start the game, you put in coins like you would. So like <laughs> nice. I said, it's all wired. So I'm going to put it up the volume up a tiny bit so you can actually hear it. Give yeah. Me one sec. Oh, damn it. I can't get to it. Hold on one second, guys. That's not. Don't get impatient. So there's, there's like a volume switch on the back. Oh, yeah, see, it's got a little a lot louder. Yeah. All right, there we go. So, yeah, so we can put our quarters in. Nice. There's the player one. There's player yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah, player two. Let's hear, the set. Let's hear the music, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the other cool thing about these is it's using the little button actually has micro switches in it. So they've done a really good job on this little joystick that's on it. You mean it's like kind of clicky? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it actually is. It's a little clicky. So they've done they've done a good job actually putting like somewhat arcade type style controls on it, which is really neat, right? I mean, yeah. They they have not they have not sort of taken corners on it or cut corners on any of these details. Even underneath it if you went to an official cabinet, you would see the speaker Oh, right. It's actually right underneath it. Uh, That's actually where it is on the original. I'm going to try to get a shot of the lit marquee, but I don't think I'm going to be able to with the with the way here, it's let, let me, let me show. I'll the show camera. the picture here. So the lit marquee, they actually do a pretty good job on the website showing the lit marquee. I mean, even down to the lit marquee, you know, the, the button styles, the slant of the, of the monitor, the little LCD. <laughs> Man, yeah, even the bezel artwork that bezel artwork is all all original. So this is actually all the original bezel artwork. And the other cool thing is, so if I were to power it down and then when it boots up, I'm going to try to do this for the, for you guys on camera. So I'm going to boot it back up. And when you see the ROM booting, I'm going to press uh, player one and player two at the same time. And what we should get, I can't actually see the back to see if it's lighting up to turn on, but hopefully it is. Uh, when it does that boot screen, I can hit these two buttons. 
and it should actually get me to there we go so uh i'll try to i'll just sort of talk through what it actually says but you have difficulty uh lives bonus life and coins so you can adjust all of that right here so if you mm. wanted more lives you could do that if you wanted to make it easier you can do that so all the original dip switch settings for the game are actually here so you know it, it's really cool when there's i've seen a lot of products like this where they don't use the original ROMs or, or it's like, oh, yeah, this is a Mortal Kombat, but it uses the Genesis, you know, right. ROM. And it's like, yeah. oh, well, that sucks, you know, like, don't make it look like an arcade cabinet and use the use the console ROM, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this actually does a really good job. Now, you know, you do pay for it. It's about $150. Yeah. But this thing is not junk. The quality is very, very, very good. Like, I'm super impressed by this. And, you know, this is the third one I have. So clearly, I, I really do like these things. You can get them for about 150 on GameStop or on Walmart.com. Although I think they're actually sold out on Walmart.com. I'm guessing that when uh, when everyone's going, you know, staying home for quarantine, I think people were looking for things to do, so they were picking up little cabinets like this. Um, you know, but there are competitors to Numskull too. Mm -hmm. So there's, um, you know, there's there's companies out there that make a similar product, but this is by far, I think, the best quality one that I've seen. 100. I mean, no doubt. In my mind, Numskull has kind of cornered the market on this. As far as if someone wants like a, an original experience, high quality, you know, not cut corners, original ROMs. But if you want, there's like a slew of products in between. And now we'll have some new categories because you're going to have things that Arcade One Up's coming out with, those Coleco Mini. So there's going to be a lot. But this, I think, falls into a little bit of a different, more the collector mindset because the collector is going to want original artwork, they don't want original game. They're going to want that experience. And this does that. I mean, it really, really, truly does that, which is really cool. The sound is good for the single speaker. I don't really find anything about this that I would consider a negative outside right. of maybe for some, the cost is a little high. See, what we need is, I think they did such a great job on the attention to detail. What we need is to get Rick Moranis, you know, to take the, you know, the the honey i shrunk the kids machine and then scale that up to full size you know <laughs> and this and then you would have a full arcade in your house that's a perfect replica but for the size i, I think it's pretty sweet um, yeah it I, is pretty sweet if you go back to the website there's other ones out there too so there's um there's other ones that they sell so if you go to the quarter arcades section yeah. of the site they have a bunch of products by the way numskull has different things that they sell as well yeah, this is just numskull.com and we're going to the quarter arcade section. You can see all the the different ones, you know? Yeah, so like you look at track and field is really neat. I think that's cool. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Some of these might not be released yet, but track and field's really cool. I think the Bubble Bobble is really neat. You know, Bubble Bobble is a really cool game. Sp the Space Invaders cab, which doesn't show up there, but if you scroll down, there is a link there to is. the Space Invaders. So I think for those that are fans of Space Invaders, like that looks really good. Wait till you see this. They did a killer job. That looks seriously so good. Um, I don't know if that nice. one's. I haven't seen that one around yet, but yeah. I'm sure it's. I'm sure if it's not out, it's got to be coming. But um, but just a really neat product in general, you know. Actually, it looks like it's not coming out till around Christmas time, according to that. It says November 2020. I also yeah. haven't seen the Dig Dug one around yet, but again, all of them follow the original cabinet designs. So you know, if you're into the if you're into things like this, or maybe a one up is not quite your speed. Imagine having these on like a shelf or a display case. I mean, they're mm -hmm. they're such high quality that they're attention grabbing. So they're definitely things where I've had these set up downstairs on like um in my kitchen area, and someone's been like, "What is that? Like that is cool." And then they start playing it, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, this actually plays like the real game." Right. So this is not junk. It's very very high quality stuff. But again, when you're talking high quality, you do pay for high quality, so that's why the price tag is one fifty. But definitely worth it if it's something you're looking at uh, getting into or you enjoy these kind of like collectible items like this. I like them just because I like everything arcade. I have a feeling yep. I fall into the category where I'm so compelled to buy it because I love arcade stuff. And I think the artwork is what really grabbed me, dude. Like the artwork is so dead on that yeah. it's hard to kind of ignore it, you know? All right. So we only have 30 seconds left because we're time boxing this to only 10 minutes. So That's great. what do you guys think? What do you guys think uh, for, for those on the live stream right now? Comment. What do you think? Is this something that you've purchased or you plan on picking up? If you're watching this on the replay, put a comment down below. Let us know yeah, what you sure. think. And of course, if you like our content, uh, hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, what else is there to talk about, man? We got some other videos coming out this week. That's going to be a lot of fun. And of course, Sunday, we have the one up weekly. So don't miss out on that. Yeah, our don't weekly forget. podcast. 
depending on when you're watching this, Streets of Rage 4 comes out tonight at midnight. It will be on Steam. So uh, I don't know. I'm torn. Do I do I live stream tonight and then again with you tomorrow? Like, I don't right. know. I'm right. so hyped. I don't even know. So, yeah. So it's for, so before we end it, $150. I'll, I have a link in the description. The only place I could find it available right now is GameStop. I tried Walmart and it sold out. I'll put the Walmart link in there, too. But these are really cool. Go check them out. Numskull's got a, a lot of other cool products, too. But uh, I think that's it, man. I think we're done. I think so. So we'll see you on, on the, the next one. one. Take care, Take guys. Care.